Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, Reading Royals fans. Unfortunately, we're not able to play our game on Saturday as we look ahead to this week, but this is just going to be a quick video reviewing the recent transactions that took place yesterday for the Reading Royals, like Carlos Domenko getting caught up to Lehigh Valley, but then being isolated due to the COVID protocol, where I'm not going to pretend like I know because I don't really know how the COVID protocols work entirely in the ECHL. So I feel like Patrick McNally, Jacob Pritchard, and Bykoff as well is a Dominic Cormier, all getting loaned to Springfield. And the AHL was more for practice time because I'm assuming you have to pause activities for a couple days uh, once you have a game paused due to the COVID protocols, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't know as much as I should. I have to get more information from Dylan and others the next game I go to about how all that works. But, Usti went up, Mason Millman, who played a very good game down here, got back up with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms now, and I feel like that one is probably going to stick, um, because he, I mean, Mason Millman's a very good defenseman that is developing at a great rate for a fourth round pick, um, so I feel like he is going to stick, and that's going to keep him up there. Kirill obviously is swinging back and forth, still coming back from the injury, I feel like he will be back down with our Reading Royals as he still works his way back from that injury, unless if he goes up and plays like a bat out of hell in like, say, three or four straight, just like Lindgren Charlie has played uh, this far uh, for the Montreal Canadiens since getting called back up to the NHL, let alone in the AHL. So um, we'll have to see how Corot does with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms for the crossover fans that love both teams, which is a lot of people. Um, so we'll have to see how he does and we'll have to see how Millman does up there who it was fun to see down here in Reading for a game. Dominic Cormier, McNally, Pritchard, and Bykoff, I feel like is more because, again, I don't know exactly how the protocols work, but I feel like that's more so they can practice because when I look, Springfield doesn't play a game until Friday. So unless if, hopefully this is not the case, but unless if they're presuming that this weekend maybe something's going to be canceled there, which, again, hopefully is not the case, um... I don't know otherwise for that reason why they would be loaned to Springfield other than for practices if you're not allowed to practice for a couple of days after a game is paused for league protocol because we have a game Friday, Saturday, Sunday that for now are all still on against Worcester. So I would have to believe that is just so they can get practice time and practice time with a very good team in Springfield in the Blues organization. So it makes perfect sense to do it if that's the reason. Um, I think it's just for that reason, for the reason I just gave. They're playing the game Friday, unless if that gets moved, maybe they will see a game for the Springfield Thunderbirds, which would be a nice thing to see for those players because they earned it, all of them earned that. McNally, um, Pritch, and the rest definitely did earn that. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick video reviewing the recent transactions of our Reading Royals. Hopefully everything stays on track and we can play Worcester this weekend and there's going to be no further delays on the season. We wish everybody with the Anirondack Thunder organization well as well, obviously, as they recover um, from COVID protocols as well. So stay safe, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. I'm trying to hit 180 by Christmas Day, my birthday. Um, we're at 174 right now, so we're getting close. Please continue to hit that sub button and that like button. Peace out, everybody.